So, um, a very quickie reference. Um, this is basically video part four of my internet hate machine review. And um, I'm just going to really quickly show you, if you haven't already updated to Windows 10, how easy it is to use your Xbox One with your computer to stream games from your Xbox One to your computer monitor. And we'll also do it vice versa to show you how to hook in a keyboard and mouse to your Xbox One and play stream games from your computer to your Xbox One on your main television. This um, is part of Windows 10 because what they're trying to do is unify all Windows devices so that tablets can stream games um, and uh, Xbox One can stream PC games and the PC can stream Xbox One games. There is a uh, Xbox Elite controller coming out in uh, October, which if you don't have more than one Xbox One controller, you'd be able to plug that Elite controller into your computer and use that and hopefully give yourself a few more options than just keyboard and mouse would. So anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do, go to settings and uh, wait, let me uh, go back. I accidentally pushed Encore Play. Uh, what you do is you go to settings. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you got to make sure your Xbox is set up to stream. So you're going to go here to where you see uh, allow play to streaming. And you're, you're going to want to check all of these. Allow broadcast and game captures. If you keep it like this, it'll make it so that you have pretty much full access to everything. Allow game streaming to other devices is the one that you're going to want to make sure is checked. All of mine are already checked. The second step is you're going to want to activate the Xbox app. So what you do at the bottom right here where we have the start button, you hit the start button. Then you go down to where it says all apps. And if you slide down your app list, you'll see the Xbox app. Not the Xbox One Smart Glass app, but the Xbox app. The Xbox app asks you right here, do you want to connect to a console? I've already connected to my console. So this means, and this, as you can see, this is one of my uh, monitors on the uh, HP Envy. But uh, basically, you can simply push a button right here that says stream. And when you push stream, the Xbox connects to your computer. Now, the first thing it's going to ask you to do is connect this computer to an Xbox controller. So let's do that a step three. Now, if uh, Microsoft had uh, simply made it so that you could do all of these things, when we had Xbox 360, they could have unified the consoles a lot earlier. So, I've just connected Xbox One controller. And it's saying USB device is not recognized, but it should. It may take a couple of seconds for it to recognize the controller. So, let's see. I'll push continue. Are you sure you want to turn it off? No. Now, here's the problem. When you're streaming from the Xbox to the computer, you cannot control the, uh, you can't control the uh, Xbox with your keyboard and mouse from the computer. You can, basically all the computer is doing is showing you what's happening on the Xbox screen. So, right now I'm actually using a, um, remote the media center remote in order to run the xbox so here's the thing now that i have my controller connected to the computer now i can actually run the xbox from the computer so what should i do how about um just go to what, what, what game should i go to um well i love battlefield 4 so i might as well go to battlefield 4 so you just push the A button and start it. And right now I am playing. Oh, right, right, I forgot. One of the things I stopped doing was buying physical discs. And the reason why you don't buy physical discs anymore is pretty simple. It's because you have to have that disc plugged in in order to um, start a game. So let's go to Mortal Kombat X, which I had downloaded digitally. 
So basically, if you have your Xbox One in your living room and you have your computer in your bedroom, or if you have your computer in your work room and you have your Xbox in your bedroom, or whatever it is, this allows you to quickly stream over your home network. The best way to do it is to make sure you have Ethernet because uh, if you're using wireless, the connection won't be as solid. I have wireless gigabit ethernet over the Fios, uh, what is it called, the 802.11ac router. So, you know, this doesn't speed up the game loading or anything, it's, it's all pretty much exactly what you expect. So basically, it's all you're doing really is you're just playing your Xbox on your computer monitor. It's really simple, straightforward. Yeah. Black Dragon wins. Yeah, so if you haven't already downloaded Windows 10 and you're afraid to, you really might as well do it. You know, the um, updates and the uh, fixes are coming. So, um, you know, and f wait, I pushed Living Tower. Maybe I should have pushed something else. <sighs> yeah, but uh, basically, this is it. So, now, as for, um, as for how does it look, well, I'm playing off of my uh, bedroom's 50-inch Vizio. And um, I can tell you right now, the stream from Xbox to the computer monitor really does not look as clean as the stream on the actual television. The television looks definitely uh, smoother and it also has a higher resolution in my opinion. Now um, the next time I make a video it'll be streaming from the computer to the Xbox and using Microsoft's new keyboard and mouse support. But um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. This is just, this is really just something for somebody who, um, you know, has one system in one room, one system in another room, and they just want to be able to, you know, not bother somebody who's in a different room playing. But uh, so far, so good. I'm, I'm very, very impressed with Windows 10. Very, very impressed. Microsoft should have done this a long time ago. And I, I also know that there's a little bit of lag back and forth. So um, it, you can see that too. There's a little bit of lag back and forth. So it's not a perfect solution. I don't know if this is just bugs, but uh, they need to straighten this out. Yeah, I'm not really gonna play. I just, I'm just doing it just to show you how you know laggy it is or whatever. But um, that lag does not exist when you play directly off the Xbox One. Beware. You get the point. <laughs> There's one thing I should complain about immediately. It's the fact that TV can't be streamed. So if I say, Xbox, watch TV. Xbox, watch TV. This app cannot be streamed. It's only for your console. To use TV on the console, you'll need to stop streaming on your PC. 
So pretty much you have no option but to watch TV on the television. You cannot stream to your computer unless your Xbox is directly plugged into one of your monitors. That's a little bit of a disappointment, but that's a hardware limitation, not a limitation of Windows 10.